What I find particularly fascinating about studying and polishing each of these Goran pieces or working on even a component of them is the attention to detail that each one took. I am removing layers of tarnish that have built up on the surface of the metal. Um, that happens just through exposure to the air and it also happens through people cleaning the pieces over the years. There's a lot of buildup of cleaning materials. My field of materials science is actually metallurgy, so it was kind of a perfect cross-section of an opportunity to see what conservation was like and to apply my metal-loving skills and interests. Every piece of silver that I work with is different. Each individual object has its own challenges. Sometimes the, the pieces that are supposed to be the same are actually different in very, very small ways. And this has an effect when you're working with the object. There's so much happening in each one that brings different challenges when you have to clean it. Polishing silver gives me an opportunity to handle these examples of really fine metalsmithing and examine the ways that they were made. It's also a chance to think about the lives that these pieces had after they were made how the piece was used and then wound up in the museum collection and now lives as an example of its type. Before I just think, oh, it's a beautiful, like a silver, it's a beautiful spoon, but now I think, oh, it must be like so many people working on this one piece, like I need to like value it more. Having the ability and time to sit and hand polish a cherub's face, for instance, allows you to see every single hammer mark, whether it was intentionally smoothed out, whether it was mistakenly hit, chiseled, whatever it was. Whatever happened to create that, that little moment is a very powerful relationship between craftsman, object, and contemporary design in its relationship to what we do now.